Welcome to my vlog channel. My name is Mickey Williams and I'm coming from beautiful, beautiful Atlanta. Today is about a therapeutic workout where we're gonna actually do it with grace, ease, and flow. And um, I'm going through this thing of working out, but working out therapeutic, you know what I mean? With some relaxation. I know you're like, that's impossible, but yes it is. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna do the intensity and all of that. I have plenty of time. So this is about, you know, getting healthy, but at the same time, you know, making that physique so beautiful, fine, and, mm, and sexy. Dear Heavenly Father, on this beautiful day, first I want to say, please forgive me for anything that I've done that's not pleasing. Second, I'm thankful to wake up every morning to have the opportunity to become the best version of myself. I understand it's a continuous process with pure efforts and determination. I understand there are spiritual steps I must take and implement. I understand I must lean on your understanding and trust in your words. I understand I'm here on a spiritual journey and experience, and most importantly, I understand if one hurts me to forgive with the intention and to return agape love. I'm thankful to know my beautiful beloved mother left her children, including me, with the greatest gift, and that's knowing you, Heavenly Father. Without you, I don't know where I would be. I'm thankful for all the no's, for the rejections, for the delays, and for the lessons, because it has kept me protected. It has kept me hid. It has kept me focused. It has kept me isolated. It has kept me determined. It has kept me visualizing. And most importantly, it has kept me quiet. God, today, I want to spend a little more time with you. Yes, I know my life assignment. I know I'm here to make a difference. And I know I'm destined to become a full-time philanthropist. However, sometimes it gets challenging. Sometimes it gets difficult. And sometimes my faith is tested. I know one must have faith the size of a mustard seed. According to Matthew 17, 20 to 21. I am a believer. I do have faith and I do have love for the word. But God, there are times I feel I've done so much. I feel I've done my best and I've given my all. It's still not enough. God, I'm here to serve your word and fulfill your life assignment for me. I know you're always there with me. Most importantly, According to Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Having this knowledge and accepting you into my life many years ago has proven there is a God because there were times I knew in my heart that no one could have done it but you 
my life is going through positive changes. Some things hasn't happened. Some things hasn't started. And some things are on God's time. However, one extremely important thing that hasn't changed, and I've known this since a little girl, to execute is my love for philanthropic work. Before I leave this earth, I want to experience miraculous things. Heavenly Father, this is not a prayer about why a husband hasn't chosen me to become his wife or why I haven't become a mother to beautiful children by now. This is not a prayer about why I haven't traveled the world to see all of God's creations. This is not a prayer about why I haven't achieved all the things on my vision board. This is not a prayer about lacks. Today, this prayer is about forgiveness, faith, and love. Lately, my spirit has been feeling forgiveness. God, I'm constantly saying I'm sorry. It's been heavy on my heart. I wake up and throughout the day, I'm saying, forgive me, Lord. If I've come up short, ignored any of your people, disappointed anyone, haven't been a support system, or didn't love unconditionally, Lord, I'm sorry. The truth is, this feeling of forgiveness is what I breathe lately. There is no connection nor person attached. It's just I'm feeling pulled or directed to forgiveness. And Heavenly Father, my faith isn't weary. Sometimes I just need some rest. And it stated in the Bible, let us not grow weary of doing good, for in due season we will reap if we do not give up. According to Galatians 6, 9, speaking of giving up, I never had interest or reason to give up. All I ever had was my vision and faith. That faith has always been making a difference. That faith has always been an inspiration to the world. That faith has always been a vessel to the ones who are lost, confused, and travel alone. That faith has always been sharing God's word and love. That faith has always been to love thyself. And that faith has always been to be a light so others can see and find their way. The truth is, God, it takes courage, selflessness, compassion, and most importantly, love. To continue love without expectations or reasons, but to love the people, be that spiritual guide, and have a heart of understanding. Daily, I practice love and take time for understanding. As I continue to fulfill your life assignment that you chose for me, keep me protected, keep me humbled, and keep me focused. Most importantly, let my heart stay determined so I can continue on the path of my life 
assignment while doing it and feminine styled divine touch angelic inner and outer beauty and unconditional love heavenly father this is your daughter makiba williams i love you and amen okay i just finished working out on my db math machine so now we're about to go sit next to the waterfall we're about to go sit next to the waterfall and uh, also take a walk. This is good for your body. Just very, very healthy. And then we're gonna come back and we're gonna make a green drink because it's overdue. And while we're sitting next to the waterfall, I'm gonna leave you all with three affirmations, okay? But they're gonna, it's gonna be focused on three affirmations. Number one is about forgiveness. Number two is about faith. And number three is about love. So while we're sitting, um, next to the waterfall, we're going to listen to those affirmations and then come back and make this green drink. Please take a few minutes and repeat these affirmations with me. I am forgiveness. I am forgiveness. I am forgiveness. I forgive anyone who hurt me emotionally. I forgive anyone who hurt me emotionally. I forgive anyone who hurt me emotionally. I understand the importance of forgiveness. I understand the importance of forgiveness. I understand the importance of forgiveness. God, forgive me for anything I've done not pleasing to you. God, forgive me for anything I've done not pleasing to you. God, forgive me for anything I've done not pleasing to you. I forgive myself for anything I've done not pleasing to God. I forgive myself for anything I've done not pleasing to God. I forgive myself for anything I've done not pleasing to God. I forgive anyone who thought in or practiced negativity towards my life. I forgive anyone who thought in or practice negativity towards my life. I forgive anyone who thought in or practice negativity towards my life. I forgive anyone who prejudged me. I forgive anyone who prejudged me. I forgive anyone who prejudge me. I forgive anyone who manipulated and or lied to me. I forgive anyone who manipulated and or lied to me. I forgive anyone who manipulated and or lied to me. I forgive anyone who manipulated in or lied to me. I forgive anyone who is jealous towards me. I forgive anyone who is jealous towards me. I forgive anyone who is jealous towards me. I forgive anyone who feel I'm not good enough or worthy. I forgive anyone who feel I'm not good enough or worthy. I forgive anyone 
who feel I'm not good enough or worthy. Faith. I am faith. I am faith. I am faith. I have faith the signs of a mustard seed. I have faith the signs of a mustard seed. I have faith the signs of a mustard seed. I love myself. I love myself. I love myself. I believe in unconditional love. I believe in unconditional love. I believe in unconditional love. I love others. 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 I am forgiveness. I am forgiveness. I am forgiveness. I forgive anyone who hurt me emotionally. I forgive anyone who hurt me emotionally. I forgive anyone who hurt me emotionally. I understand the importance of forgiveness. I understand the importance of forgiveness. I understand the importance of forgiveness. God, forgive me for anything I've done not pleasing to you. God, forgive me for anything I've done. Okay, I just finished my uh, waterfall meditation. So good. It was just so rejuvenating, relaxing. Oh, just love it. And you know, I'm starting to see some changes with my body. Okay, let me give myself a couple of months. And then, like I said, sometime later on this year, the beginning of next year, I'll probably join something. I'm not going to say what it is. Or maybe earlier. We'll see. But we're about to make this green drink. Y'all know. I absolutely love green drinks, okay? You got to have a green drink. Try to have one at least once a day and um, make it yourself, you know, put all the greens in it. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to, um, what, what drink I'm going to make. I'm going to show you all the ingredients I'm going to use, all the fruits and vegetables that I'm going to actually use to make this drink green <laughs> and healthy. And so once we make that, we'll wrap this video up. Mm. Okay, so this is one of my top favorite drinks. Of course, we're gonna start with some spinach, some dandelion, some parsley. Okay, then we're gonna do two lemons, three green apples, a jalapeno pepper, two beets, um, a cucumber, of course. And we have some turmeric. I have some ginger and some turmeric. And of course, I have some mint. So these are all the ingredients I'm going to use to make my green drink. Yes, yes. So, of course, herbal medicine, encyclopedia. This is what it's all about. Just eating healthy and drinking healthy. So again, some spinach, dandelion, some parsley, Lemon, green apples, beets, mint, turmeric, ginger, and of course, some cucumber and mint. So let's get started.
Okay, I'm done. And I have actually been drinking out of this one, you can tell. And I made my green drink. This was a beautiful therapeutic workout. You know what I mean? I had a prayer and um, I also left you all with some affirmations. And those affirmations focused on forgiveness, faith, and love. So I'm done with my green drink. And I've been drinking out of this one right here. Um, I've been drinking out of this one right here. Um, this therapeutic workout was amazing. You know, with the prayer and I left you all with some affirmations that focus on forgiveness. And um, not only forgiveness, but faith and love. And you all can go back and replay the video as many times as, as you love. You know what I mean? As many times as you like. It's important that, like I said before, I'm going through this therapeutic. Um, just taking my kingdom, my body to a whole nother level. And um, just falling in love with this transformation. And it is my hope that you two find your way. And if it's not a therapeutic workout, whatever it is, even if it's like a beautiful walk, you know, do that. And like, you know, we sat, well, I sat next to the waterfall, just beautiful, so beautiful. And of course I am enjoying, enjoying my top favorite, BET, watching the pains, House of Pains. Yes, yes, yes. And I'm about to wrap this, I'm about to um, finish enjoying my green drink and um, get back to work. Much love and beautiful blessings.